Hello everyone, welcome back in a new video which is based on configuration of WP826 via zero config. So I have UCM6302A and WP826. So I'm in zero config and I'm editing account and setting the extension number and click on update and OK. So the configuration is closed and the phone will take extension from the PBX. So I have multiple uh, WP826 and I'm going to post extension in all the phones one by one. So these are the Wi-Fi phones and launched recently by Grassim. So I'm going to so I'm just selecting account and selecting extension number in the account and save. So one by one I'm pushing extension in all the phones and as soon as the extension configuration is posed phone will take the configuration file from the pbx zero config and update and modify their configuration then they will be registered so as soon as a new phone is connected in the network pbx will detect the phone and list it in zero config option in pbx zero config setting so we'll uh, assign the extensions on each phone So as you can see there is config file generate time. So this means the phone has taken their config file and they updated their extension in the phone. Now we can see in the extension side. So the phone is registered and they are showing idle in the extension. So we can see uh, by logging the IP phone so you can see here the phone has taken extension 1000 and settings are posed from the zero config itself we don't need to log in and assign extension PBX IP address and other settings so here we have we will also modify the codec setting in the phone because they are on the default codex which will create issue in future so we'll uh, push codex as well in the IP phones from zero config so we will add a template for this phone model in the model template option so here we add model template and select specific codec in the phone now adding and selecting the specific model WP826 and giving a name on the template and enabling default model template so the phone will get this file by default now adding custom parameters so here we will add a uh, so in the phone there are eight priority codecs and we will set them by pb itself and as well uh, i will set a huge first matching vocoder and audio read with fec in the phone from zero con so i'm adding key values for audio codec first so these are the first matching vocoder second ma uh, second vocoder Third vocoder, 
fourth book order and up to eighth book order. Then we will after that we will add a p value for uh, huge first matching book order whose value is p two three four eight and will add a p value for disabling audio read with fpc as you can see here it is by default enabled so we will disable this and enable huge first matching vocoder so the value is p26073 so p57 we are setting 0 p58 we are setting 18 and other priority codex value i will set 0 0 means pcmu and 8 means pc MA and 18 means P729 and P23480 sorry 1 and P26073 when uh, 0 value. So now I'm selecting all the phones and updating their configuration. So we will refresh this page and check if the config file is time is generated. Here. So we are able to see that the config file time generate here and some of the phone has taken and uh, we can also see that uh, one phone is also detected and I will assign the extension to this new phone and update ok. We will check if other phones also detected here. So the config time is generated for this phone. And now I am going to check in the phone codex setting and refreshing the page. So you can see uh, only three codecs are listed on the right side and huge first matching order is enabled. And audio read with FCC option is disabled. So, if you are configuring phones, you have to enable these options or disable, like I did. And you can also do this via zero config. So zero config is very easy and simple process. If you learn it, you can do it on each sites. If you are configuring, like if you are a technical person or you are providing supports. So I'm also pushing a config uh, extension on a new phone detected by PBX. So I have total 14 phones here, but uh, they are connecting. And once detected by the PBX, I will push. Now I'm pushing firmware path via global policy on all the phones. So I'm clicking on global policy and clicking on firmware option, maintenance, and firmware. Now upgrade via I'm selecting as HTTP and server path setting firmware.grandsteam.com. It is this is a global path for all phones and saving and selecting all the phones and click on update config so this configuration will also post in all the phones and they can change their firmware server path and get the firmware file from the internet you must uh, have internet on the all phones for uh, downloading the firmware. So you can see here the first phone has taken uh, official firmware. And now I am logging the phone.
on with lcd dot html and then we uh, check uh, firmware status on the hardware interface of the ip phone so as we can see the firmware is updated and this lcd dot html is applicable only few phones not for all phones so here we can see uh, other phones also taken this firmware the official firmware and you can push all the phones and different different models as well via global policy by setting the firmware path so almost all the phones are uh, updated with the latest version and one more phone is also detected by the pbx in zero config so here i enable the account and select the extension number so this one is i hope the last phone so yes this one is the last phone and we have pushed the extension now we will add a analog trunk so going into the analog trunk and adding and selecting ports then we give a name on this trunk so you can assign as per your specific name after that uh, we uh, set the caller id scheme so in incoming calls it can detect caller id automatically then we select uh, country by default it is set to united states then we have to select our country then we create a uh, outgoing role and giving name and giving the pattern 0x dot so it allows dialing any number with zero prefix and setting the privilege internal and selecting the trunk and the internal privilege allow all the extensions now adding an incoming rule for this analog trunk line and setting the destination as extension number 1000 you can set uh, different ways of uh, destination like ring group ivr or other options as well so now i'm setting this and applying changes So this way you can uh, configure multiple IP phones via zero config without logging them in the browser. So thank you for watching this video. Please share, like and comment and support me. Thank you.